The mystery of K218B A New World revealed as you gaze into the night sky, surrounded by the stillness of space, and witness the shimmering dance of billions of distant stars. Each one seems to whisper a question that has echoed in the human spirit for generations. Are we truly alone in the universe? It's a question that has inspired countless scientific quests, provoked philosophical debates, and filled science fiction stories with dreams of what lies beyond. Now, with the help of one of the most advanced instruments ever created, the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, we are finally beginning to gather real answers. This marvel of modern engineering serves as a cosmic magnifying glass, allowing us to peer deeper into the universe than ever before, revealing distant galaxies, nebulae, and alien worlds in astonishing detail. Recently, JWST focused its gaze on a target that has since captured the imagination of scientists worldwide an intriguing exoplanet known as K218b. Located approximately 120 light years from Earth in the constellation Leo, K218b is unlike anything we've ever seen in our own solar system. It belongs to a class of exoplanets called sub Neptune's planets larger than Earth, yet smaller than Neptune with characteristics that blur the line between rocky worlds and gas giants. These sub-Neptunes are mysterious. They don't exist in our solar neighborhood, so scientists are still learning how to categorize and understand them. K218b stands out not only because of its size and orbit, but because it appears to reside in the habitable zone of its star a place where conditions might allow for liquid water, the essential ingredient for life as we know it. The host star of K218b is a red dwarf, a type of star that is cooler and dimmer than our sun. This allows K218b to orbit very closely only 0.18 astronomical units away which is even closer than Mercury's orbit around our own sun. Despite this proximity, K218b avoids being scorched by its star's heat. Thanks to the star's relatively low energy output, the planet maintains conditions that may still support moderate temperatures a critical factor in the search for life. But what really took scientists by surprise were the results of spectroscopic data captured during K218b's transit when it passed in front of its star from our perspective. During this event, starlight passed through the planet's atmosphere, picking up chemical clues about the gases it encountered. JUST's instruments detected several familiar compounds in the planet's atmosphere, including water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide. These molecules are not unusual they exist in the atmospheres of planets, including our own. However, their presence in the right proportions, and under specific conditions, can signal the potential for biological activity. But what truly caused a stir was the possible detection of a molecule known as dimethyl sulfide, or DMS. On Earth, DMS is a byproduct of microbial life produced almost exclusively by ocean-dwelling microorganisms. In fact, DMS is responsible for the distinctive smell of the sea and plays a role in cloud formation. Crucially, there are no known geological or chemical processes that produce it in significant quantities without the presence of life. If this molecule is truly present in K218b's atmosphere, it would represent a potential biosignature and indirect clue that life, or something like it, may exist on this distant world. But can such a planet, orbiting a volatile red dwarf star, really support conditions necessary for life? That's the challenge scientists now face. In the next part, we'll go deeper into the possibilities. What kind of world is K218b, really? What are Hycean worlds, and how do they reshape our definition of habitability? Could this watery super-Earth be the best chance yet to find Hycean worlds and the search for alien life and specifically, the mysterious world known as K218b? In our previous video, we explored the incredible findings made by the James Webb Space Telescope which included the detection of water vapor, methane, carbon dioxide, and perhaps most intriguingly, a molecule called dimethyl sulfide, DMS. On Earth, DMS is almost exclusively produced by living organisms, particularly by microorganisms in our oceans. Its possible detection in the atmosphere of K218b has ignited one of the most exciting discussions in the search for alien life. But how could a planet so different from our own, orbiting a volatile red dwarf star, harbor the ingredients and the environment for life to develop? 
To answer that, we need to explore an exciting new concept in exoplanetary science. The idea of Hycean worlds a term that could redefine how and where we look for life in the universe. What are Hycean worlds? In 2021, astrophysicist Niku Madhusudan from the University of Cambridge proposed a bold new class of exoplanets, which he termed Hycean planets a blend of the words hydrogen and ocean. These are planets thought to be covered in vast, global oceans of liquid water and enveloped in thick atmospheres rich in hydrogen gas. Unlike rocky planets like Earth or Mars, Hycean worlds are much larger often up to 10 times more massive than Earth and twice its radius. Despite potentially extreme surface temperatures up to 200 degrees Celsius or more the unique chemistry and pressure of their thick atmospheres could still allow water to exist in a liquid state beneath the clouds. This combination of abundant water, a stable atmosphere, and internal heating could create a surprisingly stable environment where microbial life might thrive. In fact, the very structure of Hycean planets could shield life from harmful radiation. Their hydrogen atmospheres would act like a thick protective blanket, keeping surface temperatures stable and blocking much of the harsh radiation from their red dwarf stars. K218b a Hycean candidate K218b fits many of the key criteria of a Hycean world. It has the right size and mass, orbits within the habitable zone of its star, and possesses a hydrogen-rich atmosphere with detectable traces of water vapor and other molecules essential to life. This places K218b among the most promising exoplanets ever observed for potential habitability. Unlike Earth, where life clings to the narrow band of surface conditions, Life on a Hycean world could exist under far more extreme and exotic conditions, perhaps in deep, warm oceans beneath the clouds, completely shielded from the vacuum of space. But even with such promise, studying K218b or any Hycean world presents major challenges. The challenge of observing alien atmospheres even with the unprecedented capabilities of JWST, Detecting molecules like DMS from 120 light-years away is extraordinarily complex. The telescope uses a technique called transit spectroscopy measuring starlight as it passes through the planet's atmosphere during transit. That light is broken down into a spectrum, like a rainbow, allowing scientists to identify which molecules are absorbing certain wavelengths. This technique is delicate. To observe just a few molecules in a distant, cloud-covered atmosphere, scientists need hours of uninterrupted observation and incredibly precise calibration. In the case of K218b, researchers required more than five hours of exposure, spread across multiple observing windows, to gather enough light for a meaningful reading. And while the early signs are highly encouraging, they are not yet conclusive. Further observations will be needed possibly using JWST again future telescopes like the Habitable Worlds Observatory to confirm whether DMS is truly present, and whether it can only be explained by life. What this could mean for the universe if DMS is confirmed on K218b, and if no non-biological source can account for its presence, this would be the first strong evidence of alien life ever discovered. Not only would this revolutionize astronomy, it would fundamentally transform humanity's view of itself. It would mean that life is not unique to Earth. That under the right conditions, life may emerge across the galaxy in ocean worlds, under thick atmospheres, orbiting stars very different from our Sun. It would suggest that we are not the exception, but part of a much broader pattern. The discovery would raise new questions. What kind of life exists on K218b? Is it microbial, like Earth's earliest forms? Or could evolution take root in such exotic oceans? Could Hycean worlds eventually develop more complex ecosystems, perhaps even civilizations under their dense, hydrogen skies? We don't have answers yet but for the first time in human history, we may be close to asking the right questions in the right places. Conclusion. The future of life beyond Earth, the story of K218b is still being written. The data we've gathered is just the beginning of a single chapter in what may become the most profound scientific narrative of our age. Whether this planet harbors life or not, it has already changed the way we look at the cosmos. It has opened the door to a new class of planets where life might exist in forms we've never imagined. It has shown us that Earth-like conditions are no longer the only criteria for habitability. 
And it reminds us that the universe may be more diverse, more mysterious, and more alive than we ever dared to believe. So, what do you think? Is K218b just a strange, water-blanketed gas world or the first world where we might find evidence of alien biology? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if this exploration inspired you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to help more people join the journey. Thank you for watching and remember, this is only the beginning.